backstabbing. Areas that I feel needed. And then, you know, on the head on, on the chin area. And I'm just dabbing, guys. Just dabbing. And I think my makeup was looking right there. Then I'm going to take um, the Nuka Cake Contour in number 8, I think. It's like these two colors. Take a flat angle brush. I have like a short mini one that I also got from the Beauty's Box, so I feel like a book. And I'm just taking the lighter one. I'm going on my dry line. I mean, what is this? Right here, up under the cheek. <laughs> I like to use this up under my mouth. And I'm just dabbing it in. I'm just dabbing it in. Also, size of the nose. Hairline. Forehead. And I'm just... I'm going to go up under my neck again. Blend, blend, blend into the neck. And booyah. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to add a little bit of like uh blush and this is um highlighting bronzer that i use for blush actually it's maybelline new york master highlight i had this thing forever so just take an angle brush like this dip it in rub it on the top around and i'll just smile and you know give my face a little bit of color and i go up into the cheek along with it like that, you come around the front part of your cheek, and I'm just dabbing and lightly swiping. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my last layer up. I'm gonna go over my brows because some of my baking powder is on them, and I don't like when they look powdery. I'm not gonna put on any liner because like I said I just just literally did my eyelashes, excuse me. I made my eyebrows a little dark today because I'm wearing a good Alright. I don't think uh that helped them. Perfect. And lastly, I'm going to do, I'm going to put my highlighting powder. I'm using the Becca. I had this for a long time, too. I don't know what this is. Shimmering Skin Perfector Mineral Blush. I'm trying to see what color it is. I'm not sure, guys. It doesn't say. If I figure it out, I'll leave it in the comments below. But it looks like this. <sighs> and I'll take my wand brush and... Put the icing on the cake and I'm not gonna wet it because like I said I'm trying to do a light beat. I'm gonna just go like that. Open my brow. Swipe down my nose. Cupid's eye. A little bit of my chinny chin. And then my other cheek. I'm gonna take an angle brush and just apply a little bit of that Becca highlighter just under the brow. Ooh, baby. 
did it. And that's it. I think I need to go with this up here a little bit. Some of that. I laid it down. Okay, guys, that's it. So I'm gonna do my wig. I'm gonna do like a quick little video of me um, putting on my wig. This is this wig that I got is not a lace front. It's a lace part. I typically wear lace fronts. This is just a cute little wig that was like, you know, at a bargain. So I just bought it. But for sure, lace wigs are life. And I'm all about lace wig. Um, but sometimes just, you know, for a particular style, it's not necessary. Your wig doesn't have to be lace. And this is a synthetic blend. It's just not human. This is just a little cheap wig that I picked up. Um, 